my name is Michael Shao, and I'm from Shanghai, China. It's my second year here as a senior. So it's fair to everybody to develop their own interests. That's good. American has only maybe two hundred fifty years he uh history, and China is a huge country with. Five thousand years history. We have the one-child policy, which means I'm I don't have siblings and brother brother sister now. It's fear because our if we didn't we don't have this policy, our population will growing at a increasing rate, and it's bad for our environment, economy, or.、Uh, Or the hope, it's it's bad for our global warming as well, so it affects so many, so so many parts. And for me, no siblings means I don't have sister or brother to play around or have fun with during weekends or holidays.、Um, people, students are more locked. Uh, uh, I prefer to stay. At home, playing computer games or what,、uh, surfing the internet—that's not good for people. And we will have International Day next week. Ooh. Hello.、Hey. You guys cooking in here? Yeah. <laughs> So what is this? What are you guys making? Um, dumplings and、uh, that one. Or what? Jiaru, Jiaru, that one. Wow! And how are they different? Um, one is with corn and the other is not. Ah,、uh, this is an Indian song. All right, let's go. Yeah,、uh, Indian culture has a lot of influence on Afghan, like、yeah. Afghan culture. I mean, especially their movies and、uh, their music. Eleven, nine, Kesedia. Right, my name is Norbu Samfel Sherpa, and I'm from Nepal. Um, I live in Kathmandu. It's like the capital.、Uh, Kathmandu is like probably the most developed place like in Nepal. So like, all the people like all of them like gather around Kathmandu. So Kathmandu is like probably one of the most crowded cities in Nepal. In Nepal, we have like all these small groups. They're like Sherpas and like Rais and like the last name, like the Sherpa. Like if you if you say like oh if they're like he's a Sherpa, then you can tell like a lot about that person. Like, yeah, I have a funny story actually. It's like you know because it's it's like near to China and India. So some people think like Nepal is inside China. So some people think like Nepal is a part of China. So yeah, one time I came here and someone was like. All right, Nobu, where are you from? And I was like, I'm from Nepal. Oh, cool. Which part of China is that? And I was like, that's it's not a part of China. It's a different country. Well, the best thing about America, I think, it's education, because I think like it's more free out here, like more open. You have like more choices. Like you can choose subjects. Just like back in Nepal, we used to have like eight or nine. Like you have to, you had to read like all science, all math. So. Yeah, you have a lot, lot of choices out here, and with that you can take like classes like photography and like, like music and all that, which we do,、uh, which we do have, but not as good as out here. And like, especially like if you want to learn music, you just take it like after school activities and all that, you know, just go like after school. But here you can like take it as a subject, which is pretty cool. Hi man, I'm.、Uh, my name is Tu Tu Huang. I'm from Vietnam. I live in Ho Chi Minh City, and it's so hot there. It's not so bad. <laughs> oh my God! I miss Vietnamese food so so. I miss it so badly now. Oh, but you know, go to international buffet. October twenty nine. Remember, okay. Uh, we have shrimp festival, pork, pork, yeah, nah, nah. I don't know. I don't know.
when they like you know a lot of motorbike in Vietnam so we like run, run they, they like ride a uh, bar motorbike and bicycle and everything and then I just like you know bring my homework and then sit next to that and then study I love loud uh, it's funny and, and they funny and they loud like me yeah and friendly oh yeah that's all <laughs> Uh, my name is Wong Bin Choi. I'm from Seoul in Korea. I like American because they are so nice compared to Korean. Because whenever I ask something, they just they can answer very friendly. So I love American. There are so many girls, so I can meet meet them. Actually, my parents sent he sent sent me to here because they think the United States is much better than Canada and Korea's educations. Because actually, I can choose the subject what whatever I want, so I can develop my talent. So that's the why I came here. Seoul's air is not that fresh, and then I can see any stars on the sky at evening. I mean at night. So I like Maine. When I first came here, I love spaghetti, pizza, hamburger, but but after three months, I'm tired of this, so I miss Korean food. Like whenever we met the older pe older people, we have to respect them. In 1960, we are together, but after after Korean War, we broke up, right? So I don't know exactly, but I heard from my grandmother, some like I have a cousin, I have one cousin who live in North Korea and then my, sometimes my cousin said they really miss them and then when but and North Korea is kind of very poor poor right and they are very strict about the cultures so whenever I heard about like best thing about the North Korea in news I kind of feel something some weird things because I can feel sad sadness and I can feel some happiness <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hope South Korea and North Korea united because that's going. That's the only way the North Korea can be not poor. They always said that they feel lonely. Yeah, because they are so miss us. Sometimes when I talked, when I called to my mother, my mother cried because they miss us so much. Sometimes I miss my friends and my family. Yeah, especially my mom. I miss my mom. Uh, <laughs> can oh, I God. cry? Oh, <laughs> the best things, like a friendship, like between the neighbor. Whenever we move to another house, we always share our food to express their mind. Yeah, that's. I think so. And whenever we need help, like. Even even though we don't know any people, then but if I get uh, in trouble, they just go to the help me. Yeah, that's it. I think that's the best thing. My full name is Shafiq Allah Mujadidi, and I'm from Afghanistan. Uh, I was born in Logar, but I live in Kabul city now. It's the capital. The capital is pretty crowded, and a lot of people, over four million people and a lot of traffic, very noisy in some parts, and I, I'd rather live in the village. It, it's just calm and, and peaceful, but in the city, you, you have the schools and uh, education that you don't have in the villages. Yeah, you get, be, you get beaten up if you don't do your homework. I swear to God. One time, one time I was sitting in the class like this, and the teacher came. What was eight times eight? Myself was like, I was like with myself thinking, I was like, what eight times? I was like, oh, I was like sixth grade, I think, seventh grade. I was like 54, and she slapped me so hard. It's like 64. I was so pissed. 
Mm, my mom doesn't have a job. She just housewife and stays homemaker. So, and my dad, he he was a parliament member for five years, and now he, the election went up, and we don't know the results yet. So, it is definitely hard for the first two weeks. You get here, and then it gets easier. And for my family, it's hard because I'm the third son in my family that's going out from out of the country for more than four, then three three years. My dad usually didn't let us out because it wasn't really safe and and usually I mean the, like we have some like fun place to go like swimming pool and uh, billiard places but it's, that's usually a place where like the bad people hang out so I so I didn't really go out a lot except I go out and shop and stuff and just stay home most most of the mo most of the time. I'm I'm not really scared to go to Afghanistan like. Beside the fact, like if anything happens and I would, if I'm not able to get my visa back, that would be a problem. But I just enjoy so much being in Afghanistan that I just don't get, don't have the fear like going back to there and living there. I have four brother and a sister. So I don't know. I don't know about the U.S., but then Afghanistan cousins are really close, just like brothers, and they stay together. One time I was really close to a bombing, and I was like five minutes away. And then a lot of people got killed, and I was just like, just barely away from it. And I sort of, if I was like, if I, I was walking back from school to home, so, and it definitely makes me think like, what I can do, like, what I can do for my country to make it better. And one of the reasons I'm here in the U.S. is to, to be able to get a college education that I can use it as a tool to go back and. No matter in what field, I do my best to help my country. And, and I mean, hearing every day about war and stuff, and just about Afghanistan, it's in every newspaper, like almost every issue of the newspaper you can find out about. It's just, it's just very sad. Like, but meanwhile, it kind of makes younger people, like the young generation, to thrive for the freedom and peace in Afghanistan is what makes them, what motivates them to work hard and be a successful person. The best thing about America is appreciation of different culture. Like when they see somebody from a different country, they want to know more. They just they don't let it go, oh, you're from uh, Korea, you're from Afghanistan, you're from China, and, or you're from Nepal, and so they just let you go. They want to know more, know more about you and about your country. So it's just, I, I, I enjoy, I, all, all the time I enjoy to talk to people about my country and just to get get them to know get them to picture Afghanistan more more than what they see on, see or hear in the news. Mm -hmm.